I think we were equal, if not as good as them. I think the second half had started to look a bit ragged, um, just some errors. I mean, that was what it looked like. We can clean them up, no problem. If you're talking about getting dominated, we weren't dominated. They didn't pen us into our half for 90 minutes. I think that's a really positive performance. So if you're, if you're pushing to say that that wasn't a good performance from Canada with a 15, 16 year old on the pitch with an 18, a 17, a, a 19 year old, and then another 19 year old coming on, Man, the future's pretty bright, I'd say, against one of the top teams in the world. John, uh, I, I guess the one thing about playing a, a quick passing ball possession offense is that if you're going to make those occasional back passes, they better have some pace on them. I guess that's maybe one thing some of your players yeah, learned today. Yeah, we got caught today, a couple eh? of times, eh? Yeah. We got caught a couple of times with that. But look, they'll learn from that. If that's, again, if, if that's the biggest issue, I think that's going to be cleaned up pretty quickly. I mean, uh, the girls will learn from that and yeah, I, I think if if you look at a year to get that sorted out, man, that ain't going to be too big of a problem coming into next year. Those mistakes aren't going to happen as frequently and this is a great learning for some of those younger players. You know, you've got to speed your passes up, you've got to adjust a bit quicker. But uh, all in all, yeah, going forward, I was pretty happy with a lot of the things we see. Aaron might want the World Cup to start tomorrow. Well, look, she's been in that form since the Olympics. I mean, she's, uh, she's a world-class keeper. Um, you know, she had a bit on the line tonight, playing against the, uh, the World Ch uh, FIFA Player of the Year. And I think, uh, you know, Andrea did well tonight as well. She, uh, she had a good performance, but Erin stands on her head most of the time for Canada. She's just such a key, key player, and that's what you, you know, she earns her money for. Johnny, could you talk about the, the youngsters briefly? How do you just assess the play that the teenagers yeah, I thought they did okay. I mean, the the movement uh, in and around, you, you're dealing against a different type of player. You're dealing against uh, a team of players that can, you're not dealing against one individual player that you can mark out of a game, and you're dealing against, you know, three or four players that move with one mind at the same time. And, and that's a different challenge. That takes communication, it takes earlier adjustments. But like I said, I mean, if you look at up until the 50th, 60th minute, th there wasn't a massive amount of, uh, unless I'm watching a different game, you know, they came in with maybe five shots and three crosses at half time. I mean, it wasn't a, a, a huge uh, challenge, I thought. I mean, Karina had a couple of issues where, you know, she got found out because of uh, a loose pass and we were split open. But outside of that, they defended the box well. They uh, defend the top of the box. Well, this is a pretty exciting uh, lineup. If you if you look at a 16-year-old kid comes in and she just looked as composed as I've seen any Canadian player. Uh, she rarely gave the ball away. She looked to penetrate. She hung on to it, and you don't see that in Canada too often. You know, players are prepared to travel across the pitch and look inside. And I thought her and Yeka at times just you know, showed that we can push to another level in terms of their ability to pick players out with passes that, you know, I think, uh, you know, the older generations of, of Canadian styles and players wouldn't have picked out, you know, launch balls, and these kids seem to cut inside and find things that, that people normally don't see. But, uh, you know, Canadians can do that as well. The, the challenge is if we go and match them with physical players, you lose the technical ability, and then we go 10 years back. Is that where we want to go as a country? You know, step back 10 years and, you know, play a style of football and just match people physically and just beat teams up? I don't think that's where we want to go. I think we, uh, you know, I'll probably mention the Spanish, but back in 2008, they trusted their little players in uh, Xavi and Iniesta. That was a big change in their approach, and we've got to trust those players. And like I say, I didn't see Jesse Fleming getting beaten up on the pitch today. I didn't think she got into any battles because of her technique. And when she needed to, she was putting herself about. Diana Matheson too. So I think on the physical side, it's more, you know, we have to become more box to box. And, and I think that's what the Germans showed. They were able to, uh, to move box to box, back to front in the team. And uh, in that last 25 minutes, we, we I, I didn't think displayed that capability. But again, if, they're little areas we've got to fix. They're quite doable.